what if I recorded me, like, you just had to watch, there was no person, like, People yeah. joke that robots are going to replace teachers, and well, yeah, I've never really worked. Kids don't do well if they just like, watch the screen and not see the thing. Okay, now, hold up. Naya, there are other ways to solve this, right? If I have 40%, I could add another 40% to get me to 60, because it's another $30. And then I would know I need another 20%, which is another 15, which still gets me to 75. So there's always a bunch of ways to solve. Kayla, what problem? Can you solve 113? 113? Yes. What homework was that from? Oh, uh, last night. So 717? Or 722, sorry. Which question? 113? Yes. Ah! Sale factor. Guys, again? You have a textbook. Actually, if you have a textbook, when I don't know what something is, I look it up. Right? So if you look up scale factor in the index or the glossary, you will find that it is just the multiplying factor that takes you from one value to the next. We worked with this in percentages. So like if I get smaller and I cut it in half, that's a scale factor of one half. If I get bigger and I double, that's a scale factor of two. So it says from ABC to DEF. Now the hard thing is figuring out what side goes with what side. You know how to figure out what side. Like if I choose side A, B, how do I know what number over here to compare it to? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So if for add 71 ABC, it's just the you can tell A very easily because this is 3, and to get to 15, what do you do? How do you know that 15 is a related side? What if the triangle got rotated? Sorry. Wait, I bet it's the order of the numbers. Well, close. Order of... When the shapes are given to you, that order matters. A, B, first two points in my shape, D, E, first two points. The order of the name matters. So you know A, B relates to D, E. So if Wall's right, one, I just like looking at the wall, but two, you guys have to start thinking about these things. How do I know that the triangle didn't get spun and just like looks like those relate? I have to know that they relate to each other. So the scale factor is five. Then to find X, if the scale factor going from little to big is 5, then coming from big down to little would be still 5, but what do I do with it? Divide. Oh yeah, you can set up a proportion. So small piece to small piece has to be equal to the related big piece to related big piece. Oh, no. Don't say no. You guys are really quick to want to tell people they're wrong. I could also go to 3 to 15, which is small triangle to big triangle, and then I have to have small triangle to big triangle. There are four proportions you can go to. So those are only two of them. That's why I keep saying don't say no. All because it's not what you did doesn't mean no. That's like, do you want me to make an answer key if you don't do it the same way as me and answer Tom? Do you want me to make an answer key where if you don't do it the same way as me, I mark it wrong? No. But that's what that's how you keep reacting. I'm just making you think about this. If I don't push you, I'm not doing my job. Hey, nice shirt. It's math counts. It's from the competition this past weekend. Yeah, I can't see you. Shh! Trying to help her with math misconceptions. You should be doing your homework. So you don't have to do it this weekend. So to solve y, we're going to multiply x by 5 then? Y relates to, yeah, the 8. So we can just times 5. Now, this is the hardest thing to solve. x, because we would either have to divide by 5, set up one of those proportions. We could say x times 5 equals 38.5, which I have right here. Still, you're going to divide by 5. It's going to come out to be slightly less than 8. It's like 7. 
Is it seven and a half? Uh, yeah, I think it's seven and a half. Is, is, or one thirteen. I got seven point seven. Yeah, that's what I have. Okay. And then y is four. And then y is four. Mm -hmm. Alright, other questions from any of the homework. Your math room will be collected and checked next week. Um, I know. They were going to be, but I'm going home for the weekend, and let's be honest, I'm not going to go to my parents. <laughs> to, to, like, visit my parents. And, oh. Oh. Come to shopping. No. So, we are here. I'll be going there. I'm going to go up. Your house is where you live. Your home is where your heart is. And that's my cat. But my dogs are in my house. Does anybody have math questions? Now you've already asked the question, so we talk to Annie first. Annie. On the closure, unless yours is on 722. We're already on it. No? You have the opportunity to go home with no homework. Again, tiny violin. Do your work. All right, which problem? Uh, the uh, one to the one. Oh. Uh, third one? Okay. I don't like and don't want to deal with non-whole numbers. So, honestly, fractions are better than decimals. Even if we're still non-whole, fractions are better. Oh, so I think about this, half x minus, or I guess I could say half again, because if I'm going to work in fractions, equals 3 quarters x plus 1 minus x. Now, before I do anything, I can do anything. Before I really start trying to solve for the x, that's what I meant by the first do anything, I want to modify this whole thing to make it easier. <clears throat> now, this is not the route you have to take, unless I grade in the wall method. But I could take this entire thing, and really I'm going to take each side, but I could multiply or divide and get rid of the fact that we're working in partial value. What can I multiply by to get rid of all of the fractions up there? A half times a half gives you a four. That'd be six fourths. Look at the denominators you have. Find the greatest, or sorry, the least common multiple of your denominators. Four. So if I multiply by four here, I multiply by four there. Again, this is not the right you have to take, but in my mind, it's the easiest. 2x minus 2 equals 3x plus 4 minus 4x. Because I got rid of all the partials. Because if I do the same thing on both sides, I didn't actually do anything. It's an x. But we all get, you don't have to take this method, but if you want to solve the partial numbers, that's your own prerogative. I don't want to. Okay. I just like, it's just a preference piece. So then this is easy to solve. Are you trying to walk me through it? No. So then, combine like terms on a single side if you can. Sorry, not 3x now, negative 1x. <coughs> Now I got going, so now I can't stop. I have to finish it up. Could you do the same thing on both sides? Oh yeah. What would you multiply by on B to destroy fractions? 
Always look at the denominators. So if I triple and triple, uh, life will be easy. Oh, that right there. Yeah. Wait, does B equal three? Close your answers are in the book. Remember, guys, close your answers are on the next page. Well, uh, maybe two pages. Kaylee, oh. question. Well, not, <laughs> sorry, now I had a question. Wow, look at the toot in this room. I wish I had an attitude in my room. Okay. What's up, Camp Harvest? Give me a question. I kind of want to go to that camp. Sorry, what homework? Wait, look. Oh, so back in 714? You maybe should have come to math. Wait, I don't know how much you've been here. Math one, she's already a good idea. 7, which one? 48. So, frequency is always how many exist in that range. That's the number of teachers. Frequency is number of people. So there's seven in here, ten in there, four, one. The total number, yeah. His, sorry, go ahead. Histograms always are, have to have the bars connected because this is if you fall into the zero to five range. This is if you fall into the five to ten range. There's no gap. That's the thing that makes histograms different from bar graphs is it's a continuous data. Um, I was trying to pick the right word. It, it's something that doesn't gap, right? Time spent teaching doesn't gap. There's nobody that like went from five years to seven. Like, that wouldn't. So that's what makes histogram different than bar graph. Frequency is always how many of whatever you're talking about. Dogs, cats, people, penguins, doesn't matter. Okay. What what homework is that on? Um last night. Oh I have sticks stuck in my head. Anybody else have sticks? I have Airpods and I was about to say I Air Force One is a song from like the early 2000s. Yeah. That was like I, a bad rap song. Like her iTunes, it's like <coughs> my favorite song. Yeah. Whole iTunes. Like, I think Air Force During his second week, he had 18 more customers than the first week. During the third week, he had four less than twice as many. During the second, what? I'm very sorry. I, like, genuinely, I am. That stuff annoys me too. In the fourth week, he had 92 customers. Oh, this one took me forever because uh, you have to first get all of them on the one. I'll come back to you. We haven't even really outlined everything. Hmm. Here's what makes this hard. What does week two reference? So Kaylee, if you ask for this, I'm going to come to you. What's week two reference? So 18 more than, it references week one, right? Then the third week, what does it reference? Week two, which makes this hard. Then week three, or sorry, week four, they just give us a number, which that's nice. But, so, if we call week one, 
see customers in week one, I guess. Who what? You go to 125. Don't do like the scaling yourself one to ten sort of thing. Don't do it. So I'm gonna lay out week one is week two is week three is. So I'm gonna make little like sections. I'm gonna say here's my expression for week one, my expression for week two, my expression for week three, and week four they told me to get 92. All of this adds up, and I'm not really writing this very nice, to 382. I'll clean this up in a moment. Week one, we just said we're going to call C for customers in week one. Kaylee, how would I express week two? At, um, C plus 18. C plus 18. How would I express week three? This is where it gets a little tough. Two times that previous week, C plus 18. Now, when I think about what that oh, really is, I'm going to do that. Bless you. What's two times C? Two times 18? 36. Minus four? like terms. I've actually talked to some of you guys about how like if you make the math in a way that you can make sense of it, that's fine. I've kind of used these bars to section out what I'm doing, but really I know I'm adding. Right? Each of these is really an addition sign. Dude, I don't know. Is this a closure problem? What are you thinking X is? No, week one. Yeah, but what do you think X is? So if I look at like terms to group, C, C, 2C, no Cs, I end up with... So we have 4C. Are you with me on how I got my 4C? Yes. No. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, the no's are great. I appreciate the no's. No. 18, 32, 92... Uh, I'm going to put the 18 with the 92, make 110, 142 equals 382. And from there, we're just solving the equation using those bound schools. Are you checking for answers? Like, I'm trying to find no, out. Not really. Like, dude, I post the answers on screen. No, so, I know. Like, I can, checking I for answer know. accuracy is kind of pointless. I'm checking that you guys put work and effort into it. No dumb That's not a dumb question at all. That's a really, really good question. So go back. Say I have a really good question. Let's say I have the numbers. 2, 7, 14, 18, 24, 30. And we are asked to find the median. Sweet, middle. Take one off. 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 Take, oh, crap. Oh, Izzy. I'm just saying. 
percent of the increase on the price. Now we talked about our equations for this being percent. This shouldn't be because the tip of the blue pen is all mashed in. Yeah, but it bothers me. Like, it bothers me too much. Too bad. Because why don't you buy this? Wait, wait, that's you can buy it. Or, What? What don't you understand? I'm finishing up uh, 114. It's not working. You should get that X of 60. I did. And then you're finding me too. Oh, okay. You're good. I'm so stressed out. Percent change. All percents are part divided by whole. But percent change, the part is what we change by. The whole is what it was before. So, really the mathematical way to do it is show the subtraction. So my numerator would be 15 minus 8 over my original 8. And then we get 7 eighths, which is 87.5%. Uh, yeah. I mean, that's more so, I wanted a page in there, so as you want to write equations down, you're like, oh, I should note this. But I don't, no, but I don't want you guys just trying to memorize equations, because I want you to know when to apply them. And really, it all goes back to proportions. I didn't know you should be writing anything special to No, it's fine. Like, in most of your equations, probably just in your notes from each individual day. Question? No. Of course not. Of course I don't know. Yeah. Other questions? Ooh, well, sorry, you already had a question. <laughs> Which, is it the next lesson? Is it 718? Oh, we did that. We did this. We did this. So, remember, so, review, box and whisker plots. Okay, what's your question? Oh, like, are you guys thinking, like, A, this person, like, is that, is the box and whisker plot showing the whole percent? So, I like when I start to explain something and kids are like, oh, I know this. And then they get it wrong. So, box and whisker plots break into quadrants. Where's the thing? What does quad mean? Quad means four. Four, right? It has broken the data up into points. We don't know how many people were serving. Or, yeah, this, this was served, right? Because they asked them how long do you want to do this. We don't know how many. If we knew how many they asked, then we could figure this out. But all we know right now is percentage. 
That's why it's asking what percent. We're not looking for a number of people. But then if they tell us we surveyed 100 people, okay, then 25% is 25 people. They surveyed 300 people. That could be more awkward because we only know like per person. You don't know how much. I know. At some point, there would, would there would be a number that we couldn't have surveyed or a person who's going to like, the 25% might not be perfect, or a person might end up on the line, and then they don't count in either of the sections if they're on the line. Really? Yeah. So if you are... So this is technically, and you guys don't need to know all this stuff yet, that's technically quartile three, and this is technically quartile one, which the quartile is what breaks the data. I learned this on Khan Academy. And, or is that, are you good on that? Oh, uh, pleasure, uh, testing one from Oh, wait, you have to take me a question. How is going to, like, one or two problems? One or two problems ahead of me? Oh, good. We're next to a pond. Yes. And we're a biologist. Yes. Referencing the dragonflies. When they tell us stuff, like information, stuff. Yeah. what quantity, not number, but what, like what amount do they reference back to? There were or, no, fish. No, fish. fish is what keeps getting referenced back to. So let's make fish our base variable. That just gets just the variable. So then, dragonflies are four times the fish. I don't like when they say four times as many, but that's it's just four times. And then, frogs were five more than twice the fish. Always ask yourself what's being referenced. What are they referring back to? Does that help? Yeah, but keep going. Yeah. Yeah, keep going. So then we know that all the animals together. <laughs> Sounds like we're like trying to not say the bad words. So, how many F's do we have? <laughs> 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 oh, 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 um, so, 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 so,
hey, you don't know if their answer's right or not. People shout out wrong stuff all the time. Yeah, it's seven, 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 and seven and a half plus. What is seven and a half equal then? I think there's like a weird symbol above one of the letters. I forget. It might be above the A. Interquartile range. Again, you could have looked that up. So here we would be shading. I, I don't love when they show it like this because I would actually have my circle on the line and shade on the line, but whatever. So their point is where? Three. X is getting compared to three. Is X more or less? Based on the arrow. Less, right? Then is X equal? Is it shaded in? No, nothing else goes there. B, same thing. X less than negative 1. C, X references negative 2. I need a little more space. Now that the circle shaded in. Or equal to. Here's the way that I had to remember it growing up. When there's more shading done, the inequality takes more writing. You know what I mean? Because you have to put the bar on it. That, like, that I helps you. Oliver. Say it again. Say it again. Say it again. No, say it again. Their homework is. Thank you. 